ಹಲೋ ಪರವಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಇವತ್ತು ಮೂವತ್ತೊಂದನೇ ದಿವಸ ಭಾರತ್ ಜೋಡೋ ಯಾತ್ರಾ ಅದು ಇದು ರಾಹುಲ್ ಜೀನು ಮೂರನೇ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸು ಎರಡು ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕೇರಳನಲ್ಲಾಯಿತು ಇದು ಮೊದಲನೇ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕನಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಇದು ಮೂವತ್ತೈದು ನಿಮಿಷ ನಡೆಯುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸು ನಾನು ಪ್ರಯಾರಿಟಿ ಪತ್ರಕರ್ತರು ಕನ್ನಡ ಪತ್ರಕರ್ತರು ನಾನು ಕೊಡ್ತೀನಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಹಿಂದಿ ಪತ್ರಕಾರ ಕೊಮೆ ದೂಂಗ ಬಾದ್ ಮೇ ಅಂಗ್ರೇಜಿ ಪತ್ರಕಾರ ಸೆ ಸವಾಲ್ ಲೂಂಗ ಐದು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಕನ್ನಡನಲ್ಲಿ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಹಿಂದಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾರು ಶುರು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಹಲೋ ರಾಹುಲ್ ಜಿ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಮೈ ನೇಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ಗಂಕರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟಿ ವಿ ನೈನ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಮೇರಾ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಈಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಸಿಲಿಂಡರ್ ಜೈಸೆ ಲಗ್ರ ಎ ಎಸ್ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಕೋ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ವೈಬ್ರೇಷನ್ ಹೇ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಮೇ ಲೇಕಿನ್ ಅಂದರ್ ಸೇ ಥೋಡ ಕನ್ಫ್ಲಿಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅವರ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಪಾಲಿಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಿಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಸೊ ಹೌ ಡು ಯು ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಇಟ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಇಟ್ your statement that uh, karnataka is like an oxygen cylinder i think this is a little demeaning to the people of karnataka i don't like this statement huh? um as far as our party is concerned we are not a fascist party right uh, we are a party that believes in conversation we are a party that believes in a uh, discussion and we are perfectly happy to have different viewpoints in the party however everybody in the party understands that in order to win the election they have to work together they have to work as a team and that is exactly what is happening and that is exactly what is going to happen Thank i you. thought by giving you priority you will ask questions in kannada you're asking questions in some other language yes ma'am no you can give him you can give him one more chance to ask one in kannada if he wants So no, no, please let her please ask let her please ask I will ask in English if Mr Jairam Ramesh doesn't take offense Anusha Ravi from South first um, Mr Gandhi you've already traveled through three No but are they asking states. in Kannada they are asking in English huh? No but but regional <laughs> but Kannada nal kele No you ask in Kannada so people will understand he can translate there's no, no problem I will also uh, I'll also learn a little bit of Kannada Ni vidu varku mur rajyadalli already Bharat jodo yatra nadisidiri va Karnataka dalli idiri one thing that southern states always have a concern is about uh, national parties not paying attention to federal structures and regional aspirations do you believe as the congress party highlighting or strengthening federal structures and regional aspiration is the political counter to unitary approach that the bjp shows in one nation one everything i don't just think it is a political counter i think it is a nature of the indian union if you recall my speech in parliament i quoted the constitution where i clearly said that the constitution states that india bharat is a union of states that that means that all our languages all our states all our traditions have an equally important space in this union so i don't just view that as a political counter i view that as the nature of our country inde sir uh, good afternoon sir i am malesh sir nit koli nit koli pa sir good afternoon i am malesh from uh, vistara news canada so central government bans the pfi organization so bjp alleged that uh, uh, congress is associated and uh, supporting pfi in all over the country what is your party reaction my, and what is your stand my view is and i've been saying it in speech after speech after speech that it does not matter who the person spreading hatred in india is it does not matter which community they come from spreading hatred and violence in india is an anti national act and we will fight anybody anybody who spreads hatred and violence in this country madhu sir once again sir sir 
ನೀವ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಕೇಳ್ತಿರೋ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೇಳ್ತಿರೋ ಕನ್ನಡ ಕೇಳಿ ಬಾಳಿ ಒಂದ್ ನಿಮಿಷ ಕನ್ನಡ ಕೇಳಿ ಅವ್ರ ಹಿಂದೆ ಕೇಳಿ ಕೇಳಿ ಸರ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಲಕ್ಕಿ ಕನ್ನಡ ಕನ್ನಡ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಲಕ್ಕಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಲಕ್ಕಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಅ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಅ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಬಿ ಜೆ ಪಿ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಮೀಗೆ ಅಲೌ ನೀ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ದೇರ್ ಬಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಗಾಯ್ ಇಲ್ ಬಿ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಬಿ ಜೆ ಪಿ ನೇತ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕರ್ತೇ ಇನ್ನು ನೈ ಓ ನೇತಾ ನೀ ಕರ್ತೇ ಬಟ್ ಉನ್ ಕಾ ಕೊಯ್ ನಾ ಕೊಯ್ ತೋ ಕರ್ತಾ ಸರ್ ಈಗ ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲೇ ಕೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ನಾನು ಸರ್ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ಆಕಾಶ್ ಅಂತ ಕೆನ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ವಿ ಬಿ ಸೈಲೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಐ ಕೆನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಜೆಂಟ್ಮೆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ನೇಮ್ ಮೈ ನೇಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇರಾ ನಾಮ ಆಕಾಶ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕಾ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟರ್ ಸರ್ ಒಂದು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೈಕ್ ಹಾಂ ಆಕಾಶ್ ಸೋನಾಳೆ ಅಂತ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಒನ್ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟರು ಹಾಂ ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲೇ ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ಕೇಳಿ ಸರ್ ಈಗ ಈಗ ಎ ಐ ಸಿ ಸಿ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಸ್ಥಾನಕ್ಕೆ ಚುನಾವಣೆ ನಡೀತಾ ಇದೆ ಚುನಾವಣೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಗಾಂಧಿ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಬೇರೆಯವ್ರು ಕಂಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಕೂಡ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಎಲ್ಲೊಂದು ಕಡೆ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆಯವರು ಕೂಡ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರಾದರು ಅವರು ರಾಹುಲ್ ಗಾಂಧಿ ಸೋನಿಯಾ ಗಾಂಧಿ ಅವರ ರಿಮೋಟ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಏನೇ ನಡೆದ್ರು ಈ ರಾಹುಲ್ ಗಾಂಧಿ ಸೋನಿಯಾ ಗಾಂಧಿ ಹೇಳಿದಂಗೆ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಇದು ನಾಮಕೆ ವಾಸ್ತೆ ಮಾತ್ರ ನಡೆಯುವಂತಹ ಚುನಾವಣೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಬಿ ಜೆ ಪಿಯವರ ಆರೋಪ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ರಾಹುಲ್ ಗಾಂಧಿ ಅವರು ಏನು ಉತ್ತರ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಯು ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆನ್ ದೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಫಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅ ನಾನ್ ಗಾಂಧಿ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಟು ಕ್ಯಾಂಡಿಡೇಟ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಹೂ ಎವರ್ ವಿನ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ರಿಮೋಟ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಬೈ ಐ ದ ಸೋನಿಯಾ ಗಾಂಧಿ ಓರ್ ಯು ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕಂಟೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವೆಲ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಮೈ ಒಪಿನಿಯನ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಚರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಐದರ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅ ರಿಮೋಟ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಫ್ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಟೋನ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಸಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಹಾಂ ಜಿ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಶರ್ಟ್ ಸರ್ ಸರ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಶರ್ಟ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಶರ್ಟ್ ಹಾಂ ಹೇಳಿಪ್ಪ ಬೇಗ ಬೇಗ ಹೇಳಿ ಮೈಕ್ ಕೊಡಿಪ್ಪ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಮೈಕ್ ಕೊಡಿ ಮೈಕು ಮನೋಪ್ರಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಿರಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಹೇಮಂತ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಪವರ್ ಟಿವಿ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟರು ಸರ್ ಭಾರತ ಐಕ್ಯತಾ ಯಾತ್ರೆ ಮೂಲಕ ಭಾರತವನ್ನು ಜೋಡಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನೀವು ಓಡಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀರಾ ಆದ್ರೆ ಬಿಜೆಪಿ ಅವರು ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಅಖಂಡ ಭಾರತವನ್ನು ಹೊಡೆದಿದ್ದು ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ನವರು ಆದ್ರೆ ಈಗ ಜೋಡಣೆ ಯಾತ್ರೆಯನ್ನ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಇದು ಎಷ್ಟರ ಮಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಸಫಲ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ವೈ ಆರ್ ಯು ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಭಾರತ ಜೋಡೋ ಯಾತ್ರ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಹೇಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಬಿನ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಭಾರತ ಜೋಡೋ ಫಾರ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಲುಕ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ರಿಕಾಲ್ that it was leaders of the congress party who fought the british who spent years in jail mahatma gandhi jawahar lal nehru sardar patel all these people they gave their lives fighting the british in my study of history in my understanding the rss was helping the british in my understanding savarkar used to get a stipend from the british and these are historical facts and these are not facts that the bjp can hide right the party that fought for independence
of unemployment and they are tired of the immense wealth that a few people are gaining harish sir hindgade hindgade sir masood anta public tv inda aa congress ge mandate barlilla andre next 2023 election alli mandate barlilla andre jds jothe kai jodistira iga congress nale kelavurge jds jothe kai jodisbeku anta opinion ide kelavurge beda anta opinion ide neevu iga helo answer congress ku message hogutte jds ku message hogutte jds option na open maadi ittkondide sir have you kept your options open for an alignment with the jds in case you don't have a clear mandate next year well these are questions that are better answered by pcc president and clp leader um, and the congress party as a whole uh, in karnataka however i am pretty certain that congress party is going to win the election hands down but yes, i think this question you can sir, ask sir. to the two of them yes harish sir 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 excuse me sir minute. sir one minute but, sir last question please continue. please sir there please jairam jairam just one second sir uh, in my um, answering your question in my experience over the last few days and i have spoken to many many people spoken to farmers uh, spoken to laborers spoken to small business owners what i am hearing from them is they are tired of the level of corruption 40% commission that this government is charging on everything they are disturbed by the price rise and they are struggling with the levels of unemployment that karnataka is facing it is on these three points that i am basing my earlier observation that the congress party is going to win the election hands down okay go ahead kelly sir uh, my name is mahesh i am representing btv media sir what is the reason uh, the indian national congress is opposing nep what's the main fact the why are you opposing the new education policy the nagpur education policy? yeah we are we are we are opposing the new education policy because it is an attack on the ethos of our country it distorts our history our culture we are opposing it because it concentrates power it concentrates power in the hands of a few people and takes away power and centralizes the education system we want a decentralized education system we want an education system that reflects our history and our tradition and our languages yes harish keli pa keli one nimsha pa one nimsha sir rule follow madu ha harish avare sir avare avaru harish ha heli keli objective objective as i have stated again and again is to bring india together objective from my perspective is not 24 election i am seeing that india is being divided violence is being spread in our society and this is damaging for our country bharat jodo yatra is aimed at raising three fundamental issues that are interconnected the first issue is the violence the hatred that the bjp and the rss are spreading the division of the country that they are carrying out the second issue is the massive concentration of wealth that they are enforcing allowing to happen this is resulting in a few people getting very very rich and the destruction of the backbone of india's economy small and medium businesses and farmers and that is in turn uh, resulting in a collapse in employment so india is heading towards an unemployment disaster and the third reason is the massive increase and continuous unrelenting increase in prices this is why we are doing the bharat jodo yatra yarne yarne harisho yarne harisho yarne harisho ha ha keli heli
the so he is saying that uh, you accuse the government of 40 percent uh, commission but the BJP is saying all the Congress leaders are out on bail. So what do you have to say on that? Well, as we know, the BJP uses and the RSS use India's institutions to attack India's political class. This is a tactic that they have been using. And this is how they topple governments, pressure politicians, and every single person understands this and knows this in detail. Rahul, uh, my name is Jayaprakash Ramaya. I'm from ITV Network. This question to Rahul Gandhi as a person. Uh, it's been more than a month since you started this Yatra. Sure. How has the experience been? Has these experiences led to some kind of uh, uh, resolution inside you? Has it changed you as a person? There's so much of love showered on you. So, you know, kids running up to you. So, teachers coming and holding your hand. There's so much of emotions which are running high. As a person, how has it affected you? Has you made any resolutions? Because this comes from the backstory of a narrative created of BJP that you are an elitist, you are a vocational politician. Well, the thing to understand is I stand and have always stood for certain ideas. And that of course disturbs the BJP, disturbs the RSS and disturbs other forces. Thousands of crores of media money, of media energy has been spent in trying to shape me in a way which is just untruthful and wrong. That machine is going to continue and that machine is a very well oiled very financially rich machine. My truth is different. It has always been different. And the people who care to look carefully will see what I stand for and what my truth is. For me, this Yatra, of course, there is a political element to it. There are many um, Congress people there. There are many political people there. But for me, the main purpose of this Yatra I see in the political system a distance and I don't just say it I say it across the board I see a distance that has developed between the political class and <clears throat> our citizens the idea for me was to go right on the road and go close physically to our people. Now, this is very different than going in a car or going in a plane or even reaching out like this through the media, right? First reason is, there is no effort here. This is easy. Right? I can sit here, I can have my water, I can be comfortable, and I can, I can speak. In a car, get in the car, somebody else drives, I arrive there, etc. Now that is what most of the political class has got accustomed to. I am by nature... I believe in tapasya. That is my nature. That is my family's nature has always been. And so I wanted an element in this communication with people. I wanted an element of suffering for myself. 
I didn't want it to be easy. And so I thought, okay, what would be something that would make me suffer? So that while I'm talking to my people, I can share in their suffering a little bit. That was the idea. So, I, I find that to be a very powerful experience. When you are walking on the road and you are speaking to your people, after having suffered a little bit, not much, not as much as many of them do, the communication is better. Communication meaning they speak more clearly because they say, oh, they go sadak pe chal hai. And you listen more clearly because you understand much better uh, the discussion. For me, it's been a learning experience. Frankly, it hasn't even begun yet. To be honest with you, it's, kitna, how long is it? 31 days. Yeah, 31 days is nothing. Right? For me, it is, it's 31 days, uh, so it's not really begun. But I can see already the advantages of this type of communication. Okay, Sharat. Also, I can see the thing that is most uh, beautiful and powerful for me. And I don't mean this with disrespect. But there is quite a lot of dishonesty in this. Right? This is, this is, there is a lot of dishonesty in this. When I'm speaking, in those cameras, there are, behind those cameras, there are interests. They will distort what I am saying. Automatically, you, even when you don't want to do it, they'll do it, right? That is a much more truthful conversation. Cannot be distorted. So that, that is, I'm finding that quite a beautiful experience. Also, the thing I'm realizing, which I always believed, but is becoming crystal clear to me. Two things. One is, there is tremendous wisdom in our people. Huge wisdom that is wasted by the type of politics and by the type of system that we are running. There is also tremendous suffering in our people because they are unable, because of the system, the political system, political machine that is being run in India, they are unable to do what they need to do to actually become successful. Right? So these are the things I'm finding. Uh, I'm also finding huge amount of support. Not just support to me. Right? And not, I don't mean it by numbers. So you will only see support from numbers. You will say, Deko, you will ask the question, Acha, that is not the question I'm asking. I'm getting support from individuals that is much more powerful than 500,000 people. What they are saying to me, how they are transmitting it to me, how they are telling me their stories, that to me is a huge amount of support. Thank you, Rahulji. Uh, Namaste, yeah. Rahulji. Sharad. Rahul Who is your chief minister? I face. understood that. <laughs> you understand. <laughs> you, you spoke in Kannada, but I got it. <laughs> Look, uh, I know, I know you're interested in 
disturbing and disrupting the process of the Congress party. I know that. And that is your prerogative. That's what makes news. But we have a formidable team in Karnataka. We have leaders who are complementary, who are brilliant leaders. And once we win the election, the decision on who is going to be chief minister is going to be taken through a process that is carried out in the Congress party. Shukriya. Madhu. Namaste, uh, Madhu. Rahul. One minute, Madhu. Gandhi ji. Hello. Madhu. Sir. One minute, please. Madhu, I have called Madhu. Let's follow some rules, please. Sir, I have two issues. One question, please. One question, no two issues. One no, he is saying two issues, one question. <laughs> <laughs> one question in short, please. No, not at all. The main issue that the people of India are feeling, right? Number one, and this is every single youngster I have come across. I ask them, simple question, I ask them, what are you doing? Most of them studying university, college, school. Then I ask them a second question. Do you think that you are going to get a job after you graduate? 90% of them say to me, no, we are not going to get a job. That is issue number one. Issue number two, if you speak to farmers, workers, even middle class people, they will tell you about prices. Right? They will say prices are just skyrocketing. These are the two issues that are top of mind in the Indian mind today. So obviously we have to focus on these issues. However, there is also a connected issue which you have raised which is a fundamental issue. Which is why is it that the Chinese army is sitting today inside Indian territory. They have occupied more than a thousand square kilometers. About slightly smaller area than Delhi. That's not a small area. Right? And the government refuses to do anything about it. The government refuses a discussion. They refused a discussion in parliament. They're scared of a discussion in parliament. Prime Minister has stated that no land has been taken. Right? Now, please think about this. If you are a Chinese person negotiating with Indian people, and the Indian Prime Minister has, Prime Minister has said, no land has been taken. What is the message that the Chinese person is taking? Message is the Prime Minister of India saying that this is our land. Right? So by his statement, the Prime Minister himself has destroyed India's negotiating position. These are facts. They are not going away. And we will continue to raise them. But those other two issues are top of mind for people. And those are very, very important issues as well. Rahulji, we have five minutes. We have many questions. I would request you to keep your answers short yeah. also. Anwar. मैंने 2019 में चिट्ठी लिखी थी उसको आप पढ़ लीजिए उसमें मेरा उसका जवाब है संक्षिप्त में संक्षिप्त में बिल्कुल हो रहे हैं बिल्कुल 
हाँ जयरेंद्र एक मिनट एक मिनट एक मिनट एक मिनट आई कम बैक टू यू एक मिनट आई कम बैक टू यू जयरेंद्र जयनेंद्र ये भारत जोड़ो यात्रा से जुड़ा हुआ नहीं है सॉरी मुझे अफसोस है अब मुझे अफसोस है मुझे आपको काटना पड़ेगा भारत जोड़ो यात्रा पर सवाल भारत जोड़ो नहीं, नहीं, यात्रा बार, पर सवाल जयराम रंजिता जयराम जयराम सी ही इज आस्किंग ही इज आस्किंग अ क्वेश्चन अबाउट राजस्थान सेकंड रिचेस्ट पर्सन इन नाउ आई गिव द आंसर क्वेश्चन बिकॉज़ इट्स अ इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन हिंदी में मिस्टर अदानी ने राजस्थान के लिए साठ हजार करोड़ रुपए का इन्वेस्टमेंट का प्रपोजल दिया है कोई भी चीफ से प्रपोजल को रिफ्यूज नहीं कर ठीक है मेरी पोजीशन मोनोपोली के खिलाफ है राजस्थान सरकार ने अदानी जी को कोई प्रेफरेंशियल ट्रीटमेंट नहीं दिया है राजस्थान की सरकार ने अपने पॉलिटिकल पावर को यूज करके अदानी जी की बिजनेस के बिजनेस की मदद नहीं की है मेरा विरोध इस बात का है कि बीजेपी की सरकार दो तीन लोगों को हिंदुस्तान के सब बिजनेसेस की मोनोपोलिस बना रही है और इसके मैं खिलाफ मैं ना बिजनेस के खिलाफ हूं ना कॉपोरेट्स के खिलाफ हूं मैं कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ कैपिटल के खिलाफ हूं अब देखिए अगर पूरा का पूरा पॉलिटिकल पावर अनफेयरली दो या तीन व्यक्तियों की मदद करने में लग जाएगा तो इससे हिंदुस्तान का नुकसान होता है अगर राजस्थान की सरकार ने अदानी जी को गलत तरीके से राजस्थान में बिजनेस दिया तो मैं उसके बिल्कुल खिलाफ मैं खड़ा हो जाऊं मगर अगर फेयर प्रोसीजर के साथ दिया है आई हैव नो प्रॉब्लम अभी आई आई लाइक टू आंसर दैट एक मिनट आई वांट जयराम आई वांट आंसर दैट इन इंग्लिश आल्सो प्लीज बिकॉज इट्स अ इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन मिस्टर अदानी हैज कमिटेड सिक्सटी थाउजेंड करोड़ टू राजस्थान नो चीफ मिनिस्टर कैन रिफ्यूज such an offer in fact it would not be correct for a chief minister to refuse such an offer my contention is in the use of political power to help certain chosen businesses my opposition is to two or three or four large businesses being helped politically to monopolize every single business in this country that is where my opposition is i am in no way against the corporates i am in no way against business but i am against the com complete monopolization of indian business because that weakens the country and today what we are seeing what is being done by the bjp government is complete monopolization of all businesses by helping a chosen few business that's my problem so i just thank you finally thank you rahul ji finally thank you rahul ji jaram this jaram there are fine finally the the rajasthan government has not done has not used political power to help mr adani in rajasthan the day they do that I will be standing in opposition. So I'd like to complete thank my you, question there on you, the yatra, thank sir. Thank you, Rahul ji. I'd like to complete. I'm sorry, sir. I'm just, sorry. Just the last question have, on the yatra. He has to leave. This is his third press conference. ये इनका तीसरा press conference है. जो लोग press conference नहीं देते हैं, उनसे आप सवाल पूछिए. जो बार-बार पत्रकार सम्मेलन को संबोधित करते हैं, आप वही घुमा फिराकर वही सवाल पूछते रहते हैं. अभी आप इंतजार कीजिए. Sir, on the yatra, I'd like to complete this question. One question. अभी आप इंतजार कीजिए. चौथे press conference का. Shukriya, sir. I'd like to complete this one question on the yatra, sir. 
If you don't mind, one question on the yatra.